Hey weirdos, uh, Darren here from Marlar House on YouTube, and uh, you've probably been hearing quite a bit about the the YouTube censorship thing that's going on, about how uh, a lot of the advertisers are stepping away from YouTube because they don't want to support videos that have certain topics uh, or certain uh, comments or opinions. And uh, I've been debating whether or not I should even talk about this, but I think I'm going to come down on the side of YouTube on this one, and I know a lot of YouTube creators are going to have big issues with me on this, but let me explain where I'm coming from. Uh, this this mainly uh, is for the people who are screaming censorship more than anything else, um, and a lot of those, uh, those channels that are screaming that are right-wing, like right-leaning uh, commenters, uh, uh, commentators. Uh, and so they're the ones that are screaming the loudest about how uh, YouTube is trying to remove their free speech and everything. Well, let, let me bring you to, to uh, my opinion here. I am a conservative uh, with libertarian leanings, uh, so <laughs> that might want that might to cause some of you to go ahead and immediately unsubscribe to my channel. And if so, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure you can you can say that YouTube is assaulting free speech on this. Uh, now, the right wing voices and other voices, you know, regardless of who you are, if you're screaming uh, censorship, your channel on YouTube isn't being deleted. Uh, it's not being canceled from the platform. Your speech remains intact. It's still there. So this debate, it's it's more of a debate about having your speech demonetized. All right. Not uh, not censored. And there's a big difference on that. Freedom of speech, you know, the First Amendment, we all scream it, especially when we think that we're being slighted, but you don't have a right to be paid for your opinions. You don't have a right to be heard. You only have the right to speak. People don't have to listen to you. They don't have to give you money for you to talk. All you have the right to do is say what you want to say. You're not you're not guaranteed an audience for that. If advertisers, if they don't want to be associated with certain opinions, that's their right too. That's their freedom of speech. It works both ways, people. Now, you cannot force a private company, which, by the way, YouTube is a private company. So, you know, the government really can't say, you can't say this or can't say that, you can't support this or that. YouTube can do whatever they want. Now, whether or not we all agree and decide to leave pla leave the platform or not, well, that's capitalism. That's the way it all works. So they're going to have to make intelligent business decisions, but there's no legal reason that they have to monetarily support us. Nor is there, again, as I said, no reason that the advertisers have to legally support people and their opinions. So this is how capitalism works. This is how our country works. So... If you want to be upset about it and say, hey, they're demonetizing my videos, well, I understand that. I mean, I'm I'm dealing with it just like you are, um, but I'm also understanding that I don't want to be in the position that YouTube is in where I own a company and I'm forced to pay somebody else to do something that I don't agree with. I don't see that uh, as being cool at all, so you shouldn't either.